Hey guys, it's Benny, and I wanted to talk to you guys about something a little different this time. Just wanted to do a quick vlog on um, Walker Stalker Con in Boston this weekend. It's actually still happening right now because as I'm recording it, today is still Sunday. And I wanted to talk a little bit about their disability services. Now, I've been to many conventions, many, 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 many conventions since like the year 2004. And never have I ever seen a more perfect and beautiful disability service. I was absolutely impressed by them. And even though I have a couple of criticisms, I just wanted to say how wonderful it was to finally get to go to convention and actually feel like people actually cared about me. Like people within you know, within the fandom, within the geekdom, that I actually had a place there, and it was just so nice. So let me tell you a little bit how my experience was. I'm not sure how many of you guys that follow me um, like to go to conventions, but if you're interested in hearing this, you know, just keep listening. So basically what happened was when I got there, after, soon after I got my um, my ticket, I went to their disability desk and I was very hesitant to go because my experience before has been that they don't usually have um, services for people with um, mental disabilities. So I'm kind of like really awkwardly like just kind of sliding in like, oh, okay guys, hey. And I'm, you know, in person, I'm actually very, 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 very awkward, very shy. So, you know, I'm just kind of hovering in the background. They were having like, I guess like their pre-con hustle meeting, kind of telling each other the rules. So I'm just like waiting in the background like, mm, just have a question. But finally, once they were done, they were like, oh, how can I help you? And I, you know, I asked them, I was like, um, do you guys have anything for mental disabilities? And they were like, oh, yes. And all, automatically I was like, what? Yes. That was a yes? Oh my God. And so, um, the woman, woman that I was speaking to, she was like, um, we have stuff for autism, we have stuff for, um, other learning disabilities, like, what, what kind of disability are, are you looking for? And, um, I was like, anxiety, PTSD related, and she's like, oh yeah, absolutely, come here. So... I was really excited, and I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. So what we had to do was, um, they had us fill, um, a little card, and I will show you in a second. Let me just cover up my, um, birth name here in a second. Yeah. It, it. So this was the card. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's definitely oriented backwards, but I guess I'm, I guess, as I learned before in one of my other videos, it'll be rotated. But anyway, here's the card. And the first line is your name, which I'm covering. And this, the second line is basically what kind of access you need. Mine was the seat and row. And I'll explain what that means in a second. And exit, exit row as well. Um, if I needed like an interpreter, which I did not. And um, also kind of where I needed to be positioned if I wanted to look at a panel or whatever. And the bottom here is like the proximity to to the screen, you know, if I had any auditory issues or uh, visibility, um, visibilities. So, yeah, these were really neat. Um, they filled them out, and it was great because, you know, they asked you your name, and they didn't ask for an ID. There was nothing like, you know, you gotta prove your disability, or we need to have your, you know, your birth name, or we need to have this, this, and that. So it was really, really, really inclusive, and it was really great just to be to feel like, for once, I was in control. Like, I knew what I was talking about, so I was providing them with my information. So, yeah. So, I got that, and after that, I got, um, a sticker attached to my wristband, and because I... I don't like to cut these off right away when I get home. This kind of stays on me for days, but I'm probably gonna cut this off now. Um, on my wristband, they added a sticker. I don't know if you guys can see, but it says, Seat in Line... And, uh, and the row. 
And um, basically, like I, I said, I was going to explain, basically what it means is when I want to go into a place that has a line, like for example, an autograph session, a photo op session, a panel, what I do is I hand this neat, nifty card to the volunteer that's working at the convention or staff member that's working at the convention and they will take my card and basically give it to the person that's currently the last person in line and that person will basically act as my placeholder they're going to hold this card for me and this card is my stand-in it's basically my place in line and i am going to go to a designated area um away from the crowd and there's seating there for people with disabilities, and that's where I'm going to sit. And it's nice and isolated, there's no crowds, and it's wonderful. And uh, basically, as the line kind of moves forward, um, when the person with your card gets up near the front, um, one of the staff members will come and collect you, the person, and we'll be like, oh, it's your turn to come in. You'll jump into the line and you'll get to do whatever it is that you wanted to do, whether it was see a panel or meet someone, etc. So, you know, that was just really awesome. And I did not have to at all during the entire, uh, during the entire, like, duration of the con, I didn't have to stay in a line, which was wonderful because that is literally the most painful part of a convention. As much as I love conventions and they just are so fun to me, I really hate crowds and as soon as anything gets a little bit crowded, I feel like I'm going to start having a panic attack and it's just, it's just a horrible feeling and waiting in line for hours is just not, it's, it's it's always been a very big testament to my willpower. So yeah, that was just such an incredible experience and I just want to give a great big shout out to the wonderful people who are running the disability services at Walker StalkerCon. They really, they were excellent, they were caring. There was one point even when I was sitting in the designated um, disability area where someone had approached me, asked me if everything was alright, if I needed any help, if things were going well with the con, and it was just wonderful because I felt cared for, and I just want to say, you know, thanks you guys, and thanks for a wonderful time, it made my convention experience so, so amazing and so remarkable, and the only critiques that I will say um, which is, of course, you know, with anything, there's always room for improvement. But I will say that some of the staff members, now, there's two kind of, like, different types of people that work at dimensions. There's, like, volunteers and there's staff members. Um, some of the staff members didn't seem to be informed of what was happening with, um, their disability program. Because when I went to um, go meet Michael Cudlitz, um, the actor who plays uh, Abraham in The Walking Dead, um, I went up to a staff me member. I was like, oh, hey, you know, here's my disability card. He literally said to me, I don't know what to do with this. And, you know, I didn't know how to respond to that. So I, I was trying to explain to him. I was like, well, this is what you do, blah, 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 And he's like, well, the photo op people should also be versed in that. So why don't you ask them? And I was just like okay, this is getting a little bit tense and awkward. And, you know, I was shuffled around a couple bit and uh, a little bit of times until they finally placed me with someone. But, yeah, like, just a, a couple people, hotel staff also was not versed in this. Which, you know, again, I can understand since they're not technically part of the convention, but there should be, at, at the very least, a little bit, just a little bit of communication, or maybe they should have, like, a walkie so that they can um, interact with the convention staff. Um, but the one person that I didn't interact with who was, um, part of the hotel staff, he was very nice and he's, he would be honest with me. He's like, oh, I'm not very sure what to do with this. Let me go find you an answer. But yeah, um, other than that, you know, it was wonderful and it's better than, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Boston. And, um, yeah, so I hope to see a lot more conventions doing a system like this because, you know, I'm sick and tired of being left out at a big con, especially at the at the bigger cons. Like, I, I go and I um, participate in Anime Boston and PAX East, and they are huge conventions. And it is just really, really intimidating, and it is really mentally taxing. And if they had a system like this, it would just raise my, um, 
my ability to do things and my tolerance level for, you know, just throughout the day, just through the roof. So, you know, pay attention, you guys. Walker Stalker Con got, got everything on you. But yeah, so I hope some of my followers will be able to find this useful. And yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys and hope you have a good day as always. Bye!